We plan to kick things off as we talk about cryptocurrency. It has been trending within recent times. And here to tell us more about it, the benefits and the risks, we have uh, Cordell James and we have Kimral Ali, both members of One Life. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. morning. So we are very excited to find out about cryptocurrency as you educate us this morning. But before we go further, let's find out a little bit about your organization, Members of One Life. Mr. Ali, what exactly is Members of One Life all about? Well, One Life is really the, the member side of things. So basically what we have is a One Life network of over 3.4 million uh, users. And that is important to understand that the community continues to grow versus via the, the One Life Network. Okay. That's basically what the One Life Network is all about. Wonderful. And Mr. James, how long has it been around? Well, I've currently been involved in One Life since 2016. I've been in Trinidad and Tobago in June. Mm -hmm. But the One Life Network itself was built in 2014, October, there yeah. about. So it's an organization that firmly just believes in being educated miners. The reason why we are part of the mining community is because we are part of a platform called One Academy, which offers information as far as technology with blockchain and cryptocurrency right cryptocurrency let's get into it what exactly is cryptocurrency it's a big word it just simply means digital currency <laughs> that's you know? it that's digital that. currency and how popular is it how does it work exactly it's it's quite popular actually mm -hmm. right now it, the buzz is growing I, I'm, I'm sure you're hearing a lot yes. of things happening all over the place and uh, it's just the general knowledge about it is where the, the, the problem lies. People don't really understand how it works and so forth. So that you hear a big word like that and, you, you, you know, people tend to put up you know, resistance, yeah. walls, red flags. But it, it, it is very simple to understand once you open your mind to understanding because it simply means that you can go back to the days of bartering, but in a digital form. Mm -hmm. And that's basically how it works, digital bartering. Okay. Correct, correct. You would like to add to that as well? Well, well definitely I would like to add to that. You see, the, the, you asked about how popular it is. It is extremely popular with the who's who. Mm -hmm. So the, the higher echelons, mm -hmm. they're all having a conversation of cryptocurrency. And what One Life has allowed it to, to be is a relevant conversation amongst the normal individuals like myself and Mr. Ali. I almost said you, but I, I don't think you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but definitely it allows us to be a part of the conversation that Donald Trump is having, that, that the leading nations in the world are having, the IMF, they're speaking about it in the Economic Forum on, on January when they're planning our financial future. So these are things we are privy to know and we're able to engage in that conversation in the masses through the One Life Network and the One Academy concept. So you're bridging that gap essentially. Absolutely. Yeah. What about the benefits of using cryptocurrency? Let's get into it. Let's educate us. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, there's numerous benefits, numerous benefits. One of it being that um, transaction of speed. The, the speed of transaction yeah. is, is, is a snap of a finger. It, it is, is the internet of money. So how the internet came about and it made life easier for us, I don't think we can live without the internet today, is a very similar concept. You see, what happened is, uh, like the internet, people was a little afraid because they didn't know. It's, cryptocurrency is a similar concept. Method of payments has always been evolving and changing. Mm -hmm. All cryptocurrencies is money, just another payment. And this payment option allows it to be speed, quick, fast transactions, safe and secure. You're able to transact the, 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 um, the money. You're able to make that transaction from peer to peer and actually see and receive, see who receives it because there's no hidden hidden way with our cryptocurrency in particular. You see, we need to make sure we specify that there's a decentralized cryptocurrency and there's a centralized cryptocurrency. And we fall under the centralized cryptocurrency model that we utilize. And regarding usability of it, I think Mr. Ali could tell you a little more. I think that is one of the major points here to understand, the usability aspect of it. And that is where we're heading to as far as the discussion uh, later on next week. We are going to be showing people here in Trinidad and Tobago how usable it is for goods and services. You can literally pay for goods and services using this cryptocurrency, not, not trying to bring it back into fiat currency. Okay. And that is what is, it needs to be understood with our particular uh, currency. So that we can literally transact business and purchase goods and services using our coin, mm -hmm. which is called OneCoin. OneCoin, yes. So yeah. Another, another key use of um, usability, why it's necessary, why it's, why it's needed in the world, 
is if another country, for example, we were in Romania and they was accepting cryptocurrency as a method of payment, so we went to an expo there, I didn't need to convert any of the TT dollars to another currency that, that's accepted by the world, which I still have to take to the Cambio in Romania and change back to their currency. You see all of that changing where we lose money in between? Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency allows you to avoid that if the other party is accepting it as a method of payment. And that's what money is overall. Money is whatever we agree upon to accept for goods and services. And so it helps to eliminate that forex shortage. I'm glad wow. you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's a benefit there. Now, you mentioned the speed of the transactions, and you also mentioned the forex issue. Uh, are there any risks involved that you can think of? Yeah, well, it depends on which cryptocurrency you interact with. Okay. Because... The risk is, is, is if you're dealing with a decentralized model, then you're talking about anonymity and things of that nature. But it's more secure if you're talking about the centralized model. And if you really listen to even the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago, is they, at the Bankers Association is discussing how they want to streamline and go that direction. They've been in conversation with the Central Bank of Canada, Central Bank of England, and they want to go the route of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is where the risk really begins to il be eliminated okay. because there's a protocol of trust. And that blockchain technology, it can eliminate some of the things that happen today with the fiat currency. When I say fiat currency, I'm talking about paper money. Yeah. What happens with paper money today, there's, there's a set of laws around it because people could do what they want to do with it. They could hide it. They could, they could embezzle. They could, they could commit crime with it a lot. Cryptocurrency, I don't think the drug man is going to be able to accept a transparent cryptocurrency on the corner. Okay. So, so we kind of could now go away from the ills of what the normal paper money has to offer. How many types of cryptocurrency are there and which ones are you all focusing on? There are quite a number. Actually, it's over 1,500 types of cryptocurrencies oh. out there. So yes, this thing began in 2008, 2009, but it has really evolved over that, that time. And um, the ones that, as you heard, that we're really focusing on are the centralized uh, model ones because mm -hmm. the decentralized ones have the issue of being anonymous in nature. Okay. As a result, it's, it's, it's pretty much used for various um, illegal operations it could, because it could be hidden. But not, let's, let's get back to the point that not, you know, cash could be also used for illegal transactions. So it's not about that. It's just about having a currency that, that is really visible. It's, we don't deal with something that is anonymous. Mm -hmm. The one we specialize in is, is one by the name of OneCoin. Yeah. And so at our expo, our Dear Shaker Expo, you can come and utilize, once you have OneCoins, you can come and utilize your OneCoins. If you're interested in finding out how to even get the OneCoins, you can come and find out that information there as well. You can come and see it, and maybe you're interested in neither, but you want to see. You can come and witness the use of the cryptocurrency there. So we're going to be having a symposium of, of, of top, top, top individuals across the world. I matter of fact, somebody from this, this morning message me from Indonesia and tell me they want to come with a contingency of 20 persons. So we are attracting persons from New Zealand, Australia, Malawi, Vietnam, all flying in to take part of this event that we are having at the Hilton next week. Okay. So this is definitely increasing in popularity. Mm -hmm. There are companies that are currently using it. I remember, I think Trotters was one. They were using Bitcoin at one point mm -hmm. in time. Would you say there are other restaurants and even the banks? Are the banks conducting transactions involving cryptocurrency? Not for you to know. <laughs> Let me just put it out there and be honest. Not for you to know. I, I could tell you a few banks that's involved in the background. and it, It's not really in the background. It's open information if you go and you can see it online. I'm not saying see it online. You can see which cryptocurrencies, who have invested in it, right. and these things of that nature. But to say that they have opened it fully to us, they have not gone that route yet because they have not controlled it as yet. Mm. Their concern is to control so they could continue you read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this event that you guys are having. Uh, it's an expo, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where, where is, is it going to be held? It's going to be held at the Hilton. Mm -hmm. And as you just heard, people are coming in from various nations to use their cryptocurrency for goods and services. Yeah. So we are attracting international attention. So it's going to be at the Hilton uh, next week, Saturday. That's the open forum. That's mm -hmm. the 21st of July. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you, you just come and, and anyone you're invited to be a part of this, come and see cryptocurrency at work. Okay. See it in motion. 
So it's just a, it's an expo, but are there going to be featured speakers? Is it an educational so session? <coughs> on the 22nd, yeah. no, at the expo, what we're going to be doing, we're going to have a room adjacent to the expo mm -hmm. where at 12, 2, 4, and 6 p.m., we're going to run a presentation for brand new comers at New Eyeballs who would like to know more and how to get involved to get more information. We'll have that segment there. But we, on the Sunday, we're going to have what's considered a fintech masterclass, a fintech seminar, mm -hmm. where we have international top, top speakers. I'm talking about there's even a publisher of um, fin, fin Future and Financial IT by the name of Chris Principe. He will be here to kick off the show, actually, delivering information that he carries all across Asia. He's from the United States. Mr. Chris Principe, you can look him up. We have a guy by the name of Simon Lee. He's from Vietnam. He's a crown diamond in the organization. Hundreds of thousands of people he has educated regarding this cryptocurrency. We have the corporate. We're talking about the, 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 the global management will be coming to our shores. His name is Mr. Konstantin Ignatov. And Mr. Konstantin Ignatov represents that Sofia Bulgaria head office. And to have him come here, this is the first time he's on this region, on this yeah. side of the world. It is a massive deal. It, it, it's something that... People all across the Caribbean are flying in to partake in it just to see Constantine because that's the head. He, he, he's the relative of the owner and the visionary, Dr. Ruja Ignatova herself. So it's an exciting time, especially that masterclass. To come to that masterclass is a thousand TT dollars. Mm -hmm. um, you could find out more information from the numbers below or the website. Yes. If you have an existing IME mm -hmm. that you are part of the organization, you get the ticket for a little more affordable. So if you know someone, you can get the ticket for six seventy five. If you're just walking in off the streets, it's a thousand TT dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are two events. One is on Saturday. Yes. That's the expo itself, and it's open to members of the public. Is there a cost yes. attached? No, there's no, no cost, cost attached. attached. It's an educational expo. That's correct. Free for the public that mm -hmm. we are putting on just for them. Right. Yeah. And this is at Hilton, Saturday, twenty first, ten AM to seven PM. And this FinTech masterclass, where will that be held? At the Hilton. Also as well. at the Hilton. Yeah. In and the Hilton that's Ballroom. Sunday from what time? from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And it continues until about Til 7, 7 a.m. as well. 7 p.m. Right. Is it the first time that you guys are having an event like this, the expo and the FinTech Masterclass? Absolutely. Yeah. This, is, this is the magnitude of this event. This is the first time I think the region oh. of, of the whole Caribbean has ever had anything regarding the usability of cryptocurrency where persons could go and shop. I know they would have had different seminars before, but not to this magnitude. And the Friday before, we actually have in a one world gala where we're going to be raising funds for children that we're going to help right here in Trinidad and Tobago to send them back to school and, and things of that nature with the very same cryptocurrency. Yeah. Because our organization has a whole arm called One World Foundation where they have over 68 okay. different countries and projects running simultaneously in aid of the children and educating This is an children. international organization that you guys are a part of. Okay. Yes, it is. One World Gala, Friday, where, when? At the Hilton as Hilton well. Hilton as well. So we locked down the Hilton for the weekend. <laughs> Any other events? Because you're just picking it in there. <laughs> Anything else? It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. There is something else, but that, that's called the Coolong. So we're going to take the foreigners and show them how we behave in Trinidad and we're going to professionally lime. You know, everybody is lime. We're going to professionally lime. Yeah. And that's going to be the Monday we're taking them to Tobago. That's correct. Oh, I and thought you were going to take them to the double shed. <laughs> the doubles will be at the Expo for Coins. Oh, that's correct. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what would have gone into actually putting this event together? Wow. <laughs> A lot of work that I don't do. Mm -hmm. So we have an event planner. Her name is Esther James. And she's doing a magnificent job with, yes. it, with the committee that she has put together. And, and we, we are all working together for one goal. We have a concept that says together for more. So there's numerous IMEs, leaders that are part of this organization throughout the Caribbean that are all pitching in in their manner and driving persons to be educated about this hot topic that they need to know about that's going to affect them financially if they ignore it. Wonderful. Mr. Ali, what are your closing comments? Would you like to say to those looking on and listening, should they be part of this event? I think absolutely. For, I'm sure many of those uh, who are listening, you would have heard about cryptocurrency. Stop hearing about it and come and see it in action. So we're inviting you to come next week, Saturday, uh, for free and see usability at its best. Great. And for more information, numbers to call 620-6920. That's Rolf Doyle. That's the contact information there. And their official website, it's CaribbeanDealShakerExpo.com. 
Gentlemen, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. It's been a pleasure. I learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> so we've been chatting with uh, members of One Life, Cordell James and Kimrol Ali, talking to us about cryptocurrency and those uh, events which take place on the weekend of Saturday the 21st. It actually starts the One World Gala is on Friday, and then Saturday 21st from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They have uh, that event as well on Sunday and uh, Sunday it actually is $1,000 TT. That's a FinTech Masterclass. It's also from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then Saturday, of course, before would be the actual expo where you can learn so much. We now take you to our local weather forecast.